Hopefully we can get some shorts up there. You know, get some shorts. You know, short little videos. This is going to be one of them on getting your Ethiopian click. <laughs> right? How to get your Ethiopian click. What do we mean by the Ethiopian click? You know, the languages, they say some African languages are languages of um, clickers. You modish. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So this is our channel here, Sister T. I'm Harik Faraz the Far Eye. You know, I'm Harik Faraz the Far Eye channel. Seek to bring forward the Hebrew for us, the far eye, also soon, soon. Give thanks, brothers and sisters. But here, this video right here is on getting your Ethiopian click, right? The opening of the mouth. You know, remember the opening of the mouth from the ancient Tawi? Yeah, the opening of the mouth, like the ability to speak, word, sound, and power. So we're talking about getting your Ethiopian click. What do we mean by the Ethiopian click? Check out right here, here, here. I'm hard for Rastafari. Subscribe and learn the language of the King of Kings. So here, let's go to the Fidel here. Okay, here we have, this is the basic Fidel right here. The basic, right? The basic, the first order column is the Gutters, Gutters, the Gutters column. So we have the Ha, Le, Ha, Me, Se, Re, Se, She, Ke. So that's a click right there, the ninth, the Ke. See it right there, the k. You see the k, the k. There we go. That there we go. The k. All right, the ninth letter right there. The ninth, ninth of the thirty-three. All right. So this is about getting our Ethiopian click. Now, the interesting thing here is that in English, right? In English, if you notice something about the q sounds, the q sounds, that the q, right? The q in English, and this affects many of us when we start to look at the ancient languages because we're not used to it. We're not used to it at all in English. You know, not used to it at all in English. I know after we after we learn you this, a lot of ones are gonna act like they know it because you learned, you know, this. So we're gonna learn you this. Not teach, you know, hopefully the Holy Spirit teach you, but we're gonna learn you this. You know, back our old times will say learn you this. It's about getting that click, that ka right there. You see the ka? Right? Se she ke. Se she ke ke. Right? Now, in English, most words that have a Q in it, notice in English, most words that have a Q usually have a U behind it. Some of the Israelite brothers, you know, the Hebrews and the Israelites, you know, and seeking to reclaim the Hebrew language, sometimes when they come across a word and they find that's a Q, they add a, a U sound. Right? They, they, they add a U sound to it because normally in English, think about this, every word in English, right? This has a lot to do with the Wooly Lynchism because in Wooly Lynch, right, they say the slave papers, how to make a slave, they say to take away from us controlled language. This is the controlled language. This is how we free ourselves. Why learn Amharic? Because the phonetics, the phonetics. Right? We can reclaim something that many of our African peoples already have, and it's very important key for even the biblical Hebrew. Right, so we have the ha le ha mese re se she ke. There we go, the ke. So that click, the ke. Right, the ke. Right. So here, let's go over here and let's show this right here. Go some of the Fidel charts. This is just going to zoom in on the click but now what letter is this the ninth letter is called kaf kaf right there we have the kaf okay you might not see the ninth but it's the one on top right there the kaf the kaf you see the kaf right you see the kaf let's take a screenshot of the kaf right there so we have the ke, ke. so how do we get our click back well listen listen getting your ethiopian click let's bring this over here here we go Right? There's no English equivalent letters in Amharic. Right? No English equivalent letters really of the Amharic. You know? There's no English equivalent. So this is why sometimes if you look in some books, those who be studying the language and linguistics, they may have a K. They use you a K and they put a dot sometimes under the K. Right? Because they know if they put a Q there, right? We're not familiar. English speakers are not familiar with it. Remember, Willie Lynch, how to make a slave papers, controlled language, 
that control language. This is very, very important right here. But this is symbol number nine, the Explosive Sounds Review. Check it out on the YouTubes.com, on them hard for Rastafari. Sister T, you know, to hit to nuts, Sister T, Sister Mimi. You know, she's instructor right there, there, there. Um, native speaker, right? But here, let's go through some of the basics. The ke, ku, ki, ka, ke, ke, ko, right? So in a very easy way, this is what we actually share with some of our students, you know, over the years. Because when we would go through, we would hear ones and ones try to pronounce this particular sound coming from the English perspective, right? And it's it's... It's it's challenging. It's very difficult, right? And the sound ke eh, ke eh, doesn't doesn't affect, doesn't hurt our throat. We don't have to stress it. Some people think, ah, k, k, k. you know, no. Here is the technique. Now, I would like to say that I Ras Yadinos Ras Yadin, you know, I kind of coined this methodology because it was some challenges that we had. Right, as well as our students had over the years. Once we were able to, right, how were we able to instruct a student, right, to get their Ethiopian click, right? Okay, here we go. Now listen, listen, y'all, listen, listen first. Listen and, and just do, right? This is just instruction here. Listen and do. Don't run ahead, right? Listen and do. Say quick. Just say quick. Say the word quick. Say quick. Just exactly as it sounds, say quick. Say quick. All right? Quick. Okay. Now, listen and say it just the same way. Say quick. Say quick. Say quick. All right? Say quick. Say click. Say click. Just say click. Just say click. Say say click. Click. The way I'm saying it, say click. Click. Now say click. 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 Now quick is a little bit more open sound than click, but then you can bring it open. Click. 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 Now don't look at how it's written in the English. It's sound. Word. Sound. All right? Manifestation, word, sound, manifest. This is a demonstration here. Say quick, 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 quick. Now, see, some, everyone that we have um, instructed like this got it. You know, got it. They were amazed too. Quick. Because once you feel it in the right way, not a lot of the ways that people, they'll hear, you know, native speakers or other clickers, right? Because in a lot of different African languages, you know, black languages, Afro languages, Afro-Semitic languages, there's this click sound, right? The, the clicking, right? Get your click, right? Get your Ethiopian click quick, right? Quick, right? And do as instructed, right? And you'll get the sound. Quick, right? Say quick, quick, Say quick, quick, say quick, because we have both sounds. We have the k, k, the k, k, right? We have the k, k, k in quick, and we have the k, k in quick, right? Once you get the sound, once you vibe that sound, right? Quick, once you can say quick, don't stretch yourself, just say quick, 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 quick. Now explode it quick. Once you get the right, which is a six order. It's a six order when read from from left to right, but from the first eh. Once you get the once you get the then you can eh. Ooh, ki, ah, a, uh, o. The seven primary tones. Afro Shemitic tones, the primary, the seven primary. E, U, E, A, A, E, O. The only exceptions in modern Amharic is the 
H sounds and the, the Ha sounds and the Ah sounds. That's the only exception before all the rest of the Fidelat, the Fideloch. It is the main seven tones is the E, U. The main vowels is E, U, E, A, A, I, I, O. E, U, E, A, A, I, O. Say quick. Say click. Say click. 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 And why this technique works, right? If one follow the instruction, do as directed, is because at the end of a word. See, we're not used to saying the k, the k, 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 k in the beginning of a word. There's no word. Even the q sounds in English. How many words in English have a qe? Right. How many words in English have a qa? Right. How many words in English has like a QI or QO, like English words? How many words? There's almost no words. Whenever you see, look in a dictionary and look under Q <laughs> and you'll find the majority of the entries are QU, QU, QU. Right. Because it's not really a sound of the Gentiles of the other nations, but those Afro-Semitic, Afro-Semitic nations and the African peoples have the click. So get your Ethiopian click again. Say click. Say click, click. See, at the end, there's no vowel. It's the sixth vowel. It's a sixth one. The sixth one is the one that's in the center right there. It's the k -k 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 -k. Once you get that right there and you feel it. All right? And you feel there's no stress. If you're saying this and you're stressing your throat and your throat is hurting you, then you're doing it the wrong way. If, you, if your throat is hurting you. It's, it's like the other ancient sounds, the kh, the kh, you know, those sort of sounds. There's no hurt. <laughs> if you're speaking it and it's hurting you, then you're not doing it correctly. All right? But here, get your Ethiopian click. Get your Ethiopian click, quick, quick, click. Get your Ethiopian click, click, quick. Once you get that at the end, click, quick. Then you, you, you feel the sound. You feel the sound. You say, he who feels it knows it. All right? So once you say quick and you hear that click come out, that click. You're like, oh, wow, you got it. Now, let's go through the vowels. Once you have the quick and the click, then e, u, e, a, a, e, o. Indegena, 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 again. You have the e, u, e. Ah, a, e, o. Get your Ethiopian click, quick. Here, here, here. Yes, brothers and sisters. Once again, I'm Hark for Rastafari. Like, share, subscribe. I'm Hark for Rastafari. Um, Sister T, Tetsuna goes into it and even much more. Tetsuna G. Sister T, she goes into even much, much more native speaker, a lot of videos up there and specific video on these and those particular areas that diligent students right, need to know and need to learn. Great instruction right there, 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 as his match, he says, but as it is in them hard language alone that I'm able to speak my mind with all from my heart and with all the force of my spirit. Kedamawi. So when we say ke, ke, now you got it? Quick, click, the ke, kedamawi. Ked, it's not kwadamawi or kudamawi. Some will say kwadamawi, kudamawi, though the vowel is e. So one might think that that must be wrong because in English there's always a u. No, that's wrong. Kedamawi hala salasi nagusa nages. Hiwete na. Ethiopia Rimja. Check it, check it, check it. Why learn Amhark? So get your click, quick, 
quick and then we have kedamawit keda so once you see it there and you go through the different instructions on the amharic for rastafari you'll be able to pick up you'll be able to, be able to get it quick <laughs> get your click your click quick and this is the letter we're focusing on right here the k right the k get your that's the five look like the five right doesn't like the five or pie <laughs> right know this word right here this is ke mi se word for address ke mi se ke mis ke mis ke mis quick quick click ke uk ik a ke ik o ke 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 mi se ke mi se ke mis here we have it again, the k, right? The k, right? And there's a lot of also other ones and ones offering certain instructions. We can't vouch for, you know, the majority of them. So many ones, but we can vouch definitely for them. Hark for Rastafari. So check out them. Hark for Rastafari. Like, share, subscribe. But there's a lot of additional tools out there. You know, so many of them free and many other ones, you know, sharing like these, these, these like building blocks right here, for example. But the quick, quick, click, ke, 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 quick, click. So I think we all, I think we're all done, right? We're all done right here with the ke, <laughs> right? The ke, special, special K, but actually it's a Q. And it looks a lot like the phi, right? The phi. And it's the ke, right? This is the ke, Ethiopically, that we have in kedamawi. So get your click quick. And check out, like, share, and subscribe. I'm hard for Rastafari. Sharing is co-laboring. Sharing is caring. God bless the eye. Keep the eye.